What's up, G.I. Joe fans? Welcome back to the MIB Master Toy Museum. I'll be your curator today. Guys, got another cool G.I. Joe offering for you today. Another awesome G.I. Joe installment. Guys, we're going to keep bringing our G.I. Joe fans the best G.I. Joes out there. We didn't forget about you guys. Uh, we've been doing a lot of Migos and a lot of different uh, other toy lines. Um, but uh, our, our bread and butter is our G.I. Joes. You know, we, we have a massive, massive uh, G.I. Joe collection. And for your viewing pleasure today, all the way from 1999, we bring you the G.I. Joe Urban Camo Infantryman. And this is one of my favorite carded figures uh, for a couple of reasons. For one, he has a zip line. Naturally, he's got the pistol there. This is a, a six foot zip line. Not a two foot, not a three foot, a six foot zip line. And to give you a good indication of, of just that how long, tall that 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 six foot line is, I am approximately six feet tall. So, me standing about six feet tall, this zip line rope is six feet tall. So the playability factor on this figure is fantastic. So you got a lot with this carded figure. He's got his ballistic glasses on. Um, I purchased this uh, G.I. Joe back in 1999 from Toys R Us. And uh, this is way back when uh, I was on a mission to absolutely collect every single G.I. Joe out there. And this was just a cool G.I. Joe figure. You see here he has his, uh, his belt with his... Uh, holster there they didn't put it on him they just they they packed it on the side with him so just fantastic like i said there's this uh there's his pistol uh you guys know how i feel about those rubber bands as if he needs it he's he's sealed on a card <laughs> i don't know where they thought this this pistol was going but uh just uh a beautiful 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 figure guys if you're just joining us welcome welcome to the MIB master toy museum uh, this is what we do guys we hang out in our our museum um, we talk action figures we do requests we have giveaways you name it and as speaking of giveaways we have one a giveaway that's going on right now just to update you guys uh, check out our our 100 like uh, giveaway contest. We have a video on Robin, on a, a eight inch Robin Mego figure. If you hit the like button, if we can get 100 likes on that video, uh, we're gonna give that figure away. And that's what we do here. Uh, we have a lot of fun, but me just sitting here in my museum I'm surrounded by thousands and thousands and thousands of action figures. It's, uh, that's not my idea of fun. My idea of fun is bringing you guys into my world and allowing you guys to have some of that fun. That's when it really gets fun. So um, that's what our, our, our museum is all about. That's why um, I created the, you know, our museum for that purpose. Um, so people can escape hard days of work you know just a just a tough day come on to the museum and hang out with us and for your viewing pleasure today we're hanging out with our urban camo infantryman um this is another reason i got this figure uh, the the zip line was really super cool but his outfit was fantastic just a beautiful beautiful outfit ballistic glasses on 
um, cool head sculpt. I love the uh, this was the uh, the new recruit head sculpt, low haircut there. Really cool. Let's turn this turn this card around, and we'll get into the why I really like this card so much. I'll get you a back shot here of this card, and it gives you a good shot of this figure on his zip line coming down. Here's a backstory on the Urban Camo Infantryman. You can pause your video if you want to get some good reading in. Here's his equipment list. Here's some other cool things you could get. This is another reason why we keep our cards, we keep everything mint on card, mint in box uh, for this reason. You know, all this beautiful information would be lost. I don't think they ever made these micro machines uh, for the new G.I. Joe's, the G.I. Joe micro machine, machine play sets. I never saw them. I could be wrong, but I never saw them. And guys, back then I did my research. Let's get you a year here. It's in 1999. Hasbro. Fantastic, guys. Um, true story on this figure. Um, the first week that I bought this figure, this is one of the reasons why I love this figure so much. I dropped this figure down my steps. <laughs> where I was living at at my house and bent this card the edge of this card and for about two years that drove me that drove me crazy and I know some people say well MIB how come you didn't just didn't, you, you just didn't buy another one um, didn't want to could have didn't want to and uh, I just held on to this one so I've, I've had this in my collection ever since 19 99 so you're talking about a uh, nearly a 20 year old figure almost a 20 year old figure a 19 year old figure um, but fantastic and outside of that that accident back in 1999 <laughs> Uh, I've done very well in protecting this figure. This figure stays in my main uh, collection room here at the museum. Under watch and key. <laughs> Not lock and key, but watch and key. <laughs> Guys, what do you think of our Urban Commando infantryman? Uh, do you remember this uh, figure? Do you have this figure? Uh, a lot of collectors uh, don't remember this figure because back then, G.I. Joe, Hasbro was putting out so many G.I. Joes, it was crazy. I mean, he had tons of G.I. Joes that were coming out. Um, they were really hot at that point in time in 1999. So, uh, he had tons of uh, carded figures, G.I. Joes, that simply went kind of to the wayside as far as G.I. Joe collectors were concerned because they were more, G.I. Joe collectors were more concerned with the boxed figures. Um, they were a little bit more pricier, a little bit more expensive, you know, and uh, so the carded figures kind of had it, took a back seat, so to speak. Some carded figures did, some some carded figures didn't, you know, but this was one that kind of got underneath the radar, and uh, it didn't get under my radar, <laughs> but uh, just a fantastic, fantastic figure. One, like I said, one of my favorites uh, carded figures that I have. But we just wanted to share this with you today. Um, give you something else to enjoy, to watch. Uh, we appreciate you guys stopping by the museum, hanging out, uh, looking at our, all of our exhibits, uh, at our our beautiful uh, artifacts, our figures. You know the routine, guys. God bless.
and keep collecting.